What's going on friends? Rich Discovery's coming at you with another installment of Let's Restore This Vending Machine. First thing we gotta do is open it. Uh, I don't have a key for it. I don't want to drill the lock. But the best way to do this is jump on the old computer, on the old uh, interwebs here. Look for a key and see what we can find. So I'm going to type it in. eBay is great. It's so fast. Uh, vending Machine Key. Model number. Row. And there it is. We found it already. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to purchase this item address and uh, have it sent to me, pay for it, buy it now, and enter. How fast is that? It's amazing how fast things get delivered with today's modern internet. But here's our package. Beautiful. Let's check this out. Okay, well hopefully I'm in a picture. I don't know where it is. Uh, I finally got what I hope is the key. You saw the introduction. I got my mic over here. Hopefully that'll stay right there and work. Well, let me give you a look at And there's your key. Just a regular barrel lock key that's not focusing. Got this on eBay. Hopefully you were able to hear all that. Um, we're going to try it out. Hopefully it's the key. I matched the number on the lock and the lock company to a key I found on eBay. I'll put the uh, gentleman's link down below once I figure out how to do all that because it's been a while. <laughs> Hopefully this thing works. This should be the key. Find out together I guess, right? I said find out together I guess. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah! I'm, I'm just curious what's in here. Oh, look at this. Oh, it hangs. Well, anyways, now's a good time to tell you about a story. I'm <laughs> just joking. Check this thing out. Let's see what's in here. Let me come over here with you. Oh my god, it's disgusting. Oh, good way to make this door stay open. Oh, it does. It stays open on its own. Oh, look at this thing. It's all mouse nest in here. We're going to take all that out. It's all chewed up cigarettes. Oh, there's a pack here. There's a good pack still in here. Oh, look at this. Oh, they're open a little bit. These are going to have to stay in there because they're open. All the other ones, the Paul Malls, are all chewed up. Chewed up. I don't want them yelling. The mic's right here. All right, we got to get all this out. This whole thing's got to clean. But look at this. I don't know if you can see it or not. Herbert or a bear? Carry it in. A bear? Herbert? I don't know. We'll figure out what it is. These are going to go back in, though, once we clean it. So how does this thing work? This must be the coin box. Yeah, coin box. Oh, yeah, look at this. Yo. Oh, that's sick. This is how you load it. Sorry, I know I'm in the way, but I'm excited. <laughs> What's back there? All right, we got to figure out this whole mechanism, get this thing working. Is there any quarters in it still? Here is the quarter thing. There's one in there. Oh, there's a bunch in the back, though. Oh, they're disgusting. But we're going to clean them. How cool is that? They're still changing here. Oh, nasty. Whatever. They still spend. It's all quarters, too. No nickels or dimes or nothing. Oh, there's a bunch back there. Oh, one dime. I lied. I'm sorry. Oh, this whole thing needs to be cleaned. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so happy I got in here. Where are the quarters from? Going from 85, all right. Can't see the date on that one. There's one from 70 something. Oh, this one looks silver. No, 73, not silver, false alarm. Here is a uh, Canadian coin, it looks to be. Here's another one from 85. Wow. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this and I'm not really paying attention, but it's, wow. Here, get a look at this stuff. Let's take a close look at here. What's going on? Sorry, I'm so excited. I think this is <laughs> more exciting for me than it is for you guys. There's all the labels in there. Oh, I'm getting a trash bag. You have to throw this stuff off. It's nasty. There must be the coin return. That would line up right underneath this thing. Here's the whole coin setup. 
And then I was looking at it. It says National Rejectors. National Rejectors. Okay, we'll look into that. But uh, it says right here it's set at $1.35 in December of 84. So that must be what they obviously cost. I wonder how you set the price on this thing. Wow, I'm just really excited right now. I found all the quarters not down in here. Here's all the ones I found. A newer one that we threw in the other day, so it made it all the way down to the bottom. I'm glad to see that. Yeah, this thing's gonna need a scraping. Oh, there's my model. Canteen model 514. All right, I gotta look that up. It says 30 something. Oh, hold on. Hard to read it. Looks like it says 514 is the model, then 13070. So I wonder if that's January 30th, 1970. I wonder. Because I really have no idea how old this thing is. Wow, what a mess. It's a mess back there. We're going to have to take this whole thing out. I don't know if you can see anything back there or not. It's blurry. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a mess. We're going to have to take this whole mechanism out. It's got a little uh, lever here. It slides out and then locks it out. So you can load it. And yeah, we'll go, once we get it clean, we'll load this up with candy and mints or some gum or something. I don't know. Let's clean this junk out. My God. It's disgusting. We'll get her all fixed up. I wonder if it's a 1970. I mean, the, the blue could definitely be 70s. Here's the fuse for the light. So, if that's the year, that would make sense. Got that fuse in there. It's got the little light, so you know when it's working. The wiring doesn't look bad, though. Oh, is this with the light here? Or the doorbell wall. Whatever they call it. Transformer. No wiring. You really can't. There it is. The lighty, uh, fabric coated wiring. Yeah. I wonder if this thing's 1970. The change comes in. Oh, I'm so excited right now. I can't believe that key actually worked. I mean, I guess I can. I'm like excited it worked, but you know, I was all nervous that nothing was going to work. That's where the coins go. We're going to have to clean this up. When I threw a quarter in it, it went down, but I had to shake it to get it to work properly. And I guess if I take these bolts out all the way around, this whole panel will come off so I can get to the glass that's in there. Back side of the glass. And those cigarette labels don't look bad. We're gonna, some are faded, but we're gonna try to clean them up. Keep the ones we can. Some of them are actually really good. Yeah. Huh. Cool. Import menthol. I noticed while I was messing with it, one of these actually works. Yeah, maybe, maybe even putting change in there is what made it work. <laughs> now they're all tight. One of these came out. clean all this stuff. Let's get this stuff cleaned out of here. I'm going to go get a trash bag. How freaking cool this is. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I don't know what any of this stuff does. I have no idea what any of these do. Those are all old. We'll figure it out in due time. I love that color though. I don't know how it's this. That must let you know when there's one in there. Maybe stop it if it's empty. Hold on. What if I... Hold on. I didn't know. I figured maybe it was something. Let's get this all cleaned out of here, and then we'll start with uh, redoing a process. Other than this stuff, it's not that bad. Some rust and stuff we can sand down. Other than the, the, the mice living in here at one time, it's, I hope there's no dead mice in there. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Call them all. Non-filters. I don't know if you can see it or not. Here, get behind me here. Call them all. Non-filters. Smoke at one time, I guess. I don't know. I never smoked non filters when I was smoking. I don't think the filter really does much, but whatever. All this stuff, huh? This is how you set the price? I have no idea. I have no idea what any of this does. We're going to figure it out together, though. All types of mechanisms and linkages. No idea what any of this stuff does. This moves. So maybe you pull this out when you got a jam. Oh, yeah. So if your quarter's jammed in here. Oh wow, it all moves, opens. 
I don't know. So many people might be going, yeah, of course it does. That's how they work, man. I have no idea. I've never done any of this, this stuff before. Let's try to put a quarter in it. Okay, so we're up $2.25. And then 75 if, or 50 if you count the quarter that I put in. But let's see what happens. Get stuck. And it stands upright. I said. And it stands up. There it goes. I don't know what it did. Oh, there they go. Cool. They're dropping into something. I don't know where or what. They're dropping into something. So in due time, when I drop enough in there, that one I just dropped. Of course, now that I'm filming, nothing's happening, right? They were all coming out right here. They're all stuck in there again. Hold on. Try one more here. Oh, they were coming out. Where's the change return? Oh, try this. So, it does work. So now I wonder if I put in a dollar twenty-five, I put in more than a dollar thirty-five's worth, will it work? Three. This one's a little dirty. Four, five, six. Now let's try another one. I think that one came out the bottom. These quarters are too rough to put through here, I think. Now they're coming out the bottom now. We need better quarters to see if it works. Nah. We're gonna have to reset the price on this thing or get better quarters, I guess, that slide down better. I don't I don't know. Come on, go. That might have went. No, not yet. Now nah, they're coming out the bottom still. Shit. We'll clean it up. I need better quarters. How are these? There's more quarters back here. Yeah. Let's try this one. This thing's gonna need a good cleaning, you know that? Nah. Alright, we're gonna have to get this thing all fixed up. But I could put my two dollars, three dollars, whatever I got towards it. And as for the quarters that took. Cool. Yeah, we gotta, we're going to start by oiling this. Well, once you clean it, start by cleaning it. But then we're going to oil this whole mechanism up. This whole thing's going to come out and come apart. Well, let's just get it cleaned out first. Let's get this thing cleaned out. Let's see what's inside here. Ugh. Don't mind me. I'm all bundled up. But it's really cold out here. That's actually not that bad. I think it's like 20 degrees, but it's cold. But we ain't got time to be cold right now. We got cool stuff to do. Publix are still good. I'm mean, just joking. I'm going to put that in my mouth. <laughs> All right, let's get this stuff out of here. I know what you're thinking. This is disgusting. What this dude is doing is disgusting. But honestly, when you've been pulling cars out of fields and barns as long as I have and putting them back on the road, this is nothing. This is nothing at all. Ugh. Somewhat. Not that bad. Oh, yeah, this whole back half is going to have to be cleaned. That's nasty. It has to be sanded down and clean, but it's mostly just tobacco and uh, mouse and stuff. So I got the gloves on. Like I said, it's really not that bad compared to a lot of the cars we have uh, rescued over the years. In the words of Buford T. Justice, bank robbing is baby. I want to get you monetized. Bank robbing is baby stuff compared to what this dude is doing. A couple people might actually get that reference. Here's a pack. Oh, yeah, it's so. It doesn't look that bad from the front. Like the rest of them, it's, it's chewed up and no good. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe I'll see if I can retape this one up. So I don't know if you can hear me over there. I forgot I got the mic over here. It's actually not that bad. I wonder if I can tape this one back up. Yeah, it's wet. I think it's got mouse. Uh, yeah, it's got mouse pee in it. What a shame. Oh well, trash. How's this pack look? 
couple of these packs really don't look bad. It's just the bottoms are chewed up. This one's not wet. I wonder if I could tape this one back up and put it back in there. I don't know what the tax stamps are. That's not a tax stamp. Whatever the company stamp is. The tax stamp's supposed to be on the bottom, which isn't there. Which the other one has a tax stamp. What does that say look like? It's got a barcode on it, so it can't be that one. Wherever particular people congregate. Paul Mall, famous cigarettes. Wherever particular people congregate. I don't know. I guess you're particular if you smoke. Paul Mall, famous cigarettes. <laughs> wow. That one put aside with the other pack. This one's got a tax stamp. I don't know if you can see it. It's got some numbers on the bottom. Okay, can you see them? Nah, not really. Anyways, the tax stamp says paid, taxes, cigarette tax paid. It says 40483. I don't know if that's 404 of 83. I have no idea whether they date tax stamps or not. But I know the newer ones, they have an actual like sticker on it. These are the actual stamps where they stamp the pack with just an ink stamp. It's kind of cool. All right, so we'll save these two. Those will probably go back in if I can get them clean enough. At least one of those are going back in. Ugh, throw all the stuff uh, piled up on the bottom, I guess. <laughs> this pack doesn't look too bad either. Except for the chewing on the bottom. Not wet, though. Maybe we'll save that one, too. Anything we can save on this, we're going to save. Ugh, yuck. Forget what I said about it not being nasty compared to what I normally do. <laughs> that is just horrendous. So now we're down to the last pack. And this one doesn't look that bad. This one actually looks... Yeah. This one's unchewed. I don't see any rat pee in there. Can't make out the tax stamp. Doesn't smell pleasant. Well, actually, it smells more like cigarettes than it smells like anything else. Huh. Alright, so this is definitely a full pack we're going to keep in there along with hopefully the other two. And then I gotta get my uh, shop back and vacuum this stuff out, which isn't gonna happen in this video because it's getting dark. Yeah, maybe it will. I don't know. Maybe I will just vacuum while I gotta go. Let's just get the vacuum. Screw it. Let's do it now. I'm trying to show down in here, you really can't see the, the wiring doesn't look that bad. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I gotta plug it in and make it work. I don't know if that's electric or not. I don't think it would be. I wanna try light this thing too. Should we plug it in real quick and see what happens? I got a light. Hmm, hold on. Okay, so unfortunately the only fluorescent tube I still have left is an old black light. Because I used to like the finer things in life. Well, it fit. Let's find out. Hold on. I can't see what I'm doing here. Uh, yes, it fits. Am I in? Yeah, I'm in. It fits. Let's see if it works. Holy cow. I'm excited and nervous. Alright, I'm not going to lie. I'm extremely nervous. But what's the worst that can happen? I blow a fuse, right? Maybe it electrocuted. We got juice. We got the plug. Just do it. Fuck it. I mean, screw it. Got no light. Let's check the fuse. It's plugged in. I plugged it in before I came out. Okay, so again, I don't know if I'm in the picture. I don't know where it is. I think it's up here. Um, couldn't find the fuse. Well, I guess it, it's not a fuse. It's a condenser, I guess. I don't know. Regardless, I couldn't find it. I know I've got one or two of those somewhere. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Set this over here. It's one of these. I think it's actually a condenser. I call it a fuse. But uh, I know I'm knocking stuff over. Uh, stay. I know I've got a few of these somewhere, some old ones from back in the day. Let's see if you are. But yeah, I don't know if that's the date on it. Oh, the protection is not an accident. It's around the condenser. Yeah, that's 69. I don't know if that's the year or not. But if it is, that would make sense if the serial number is the year, which would be 1970. 
I thought it looked newer than the 70, but it could be like a leftover, a holdover 60s style. Just because it is writing. I mean, the chrome in the writing had a late 50s, early 60s look to it, but I really don't know. I, I can't find this, but now that I found that model number somewhere down in here, I'm going to look up exactly when this is from, now that I know exactly what it is. Alright, so we're going to get this thing vacuumed up real quick. Um, just vacuum the junk out of it quickly. It's not obviously the full restore today. It's going to take a while, probably. We'll do it over the summer and get this thing done all right. I want to do it correctly and nicely. So over the summer, we'll get it done. But, I mean, obviously, we're, we're gung-ho to get this working. I want to get this coin thing out. Looks like there's a big bolt right here I can pop out. Maybe take, yeah, right here. Slide it out. We're going to take the whole mechanism out. I don't want to take it all apart because I really don't know much about it. But if I can get it out and get it all oiled up. Get it working properly. Well, we're gonna do a lot with this. We're gonna make we're gonna make this thing work one way or another. Hopefully, I could do it all. If not, we might have to outsource a little bit of the work. Maybe go to some sites, find some people that know how this stuff works, exactly what it is. Maybe help out a little bit and uh, go from there. But I really wanna do it on my own because it's just a vending machine, you know. I mean, I've built cars that were sitting in fields for years. I, I should be able to do this. I just don't know anything about this stuff, you know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyways, once I do get it working, and we got the little, you know, lifesaver and the gum holders here, I've got this. Look at here. Am I getting far away from the mic now? So I have to yell a little bit. But my boss gave me this many years ago. It's uh, 1970s, I believe, Chevrolet lifesavers. Got that 70s Caldor stripe on the front of it there. <laughs> well, yeah, these are going to go in. I got another set somewhere. I also want to find that uh, condenser to get this get this light working. If not, I've got another light that that bulb came out of. I could just mount up underneath there without ruining anything. I could take this off, mount it up in here, maybe two screws, or maybe even double side tape it so I don't damage anything. But we're going to get a light in there regardless. I'd rather leave the original lighting equipment, but if we can't do it, we can't do it. But either way, it's going to light up. It's going to look beautiful. Oh, excuse me. I'll get a, a white light for it to light it up some days, and I'll have the black light to light it up other days. But yeah, these are going to look really cool in there. They fit perfectly. I mean, it's designed for lifesaver. Okay, so anyways, I went to put the microphone back on the phone rather than over here. Um, I'm going to vacuum this out quick, so headphone warning. It might be a little loud. I'm not going to show you the whole vacuum. I'll just start it and then show the conclusion, I guess. I'll cut the whole middle part out of me just doing all this nonsense. Well, let's get this thing vacuumed out. Headphone warning, vacuum's coming on. I don't know if it's going to be loud or not. It's not that bad. Wow, look at that, huh? Woo! Yeah, baby. Steam that much. Dang. <laughs> it's coming out not too bad. It's just a vacuum. definitely going to have to get this whole mechanism out of here. Uh, I mean, it, it's hinged, as you saw before. This whole thing hinges out. So it, it's got to be a pin somewhere where I can take this whole mechanism out, clean this entire cabinet, front and back, clean this. Uh, I don't want to maybe scotch bright it a little bit. I don't want to sand it or nothing. I want to leave all the original paint on. Let's get a closer look and I'll explain it. Yeah, we'll just look at it like this with the trains in the background. Um, as you can see behind it, it's kind of nasty. There's some tobacco and whatever. Uh, well, like I said, I want to get this whole mechanism out. I want to clean the cabinet to like brand new specs. And then I want to clean all of this. Like, see the dirt and the grime that's not coming off? And stuff like this. I think if I scotch bright it, I mean, this is steel, so that's fine. I could scotch bite that that's fine but i don't want to damage this this blue paint this beautiful old blue paint i don't know if it's really coming out in there i guess with that you could see it but it's just a beautiful industrial color from back in the day that i really want to try to save uh i'm gonna look up that model number a little bit more find out what this little thing is but yeah i want to this thing's got to get working it's gotta and it's all just old mechanical mechanisms this stuff really doesn't go bad so we're going to figure out what this is. I think this could, there's a little dial right, or uh, if you can see it, the little gears in there. And this little thing is where it says set at $1.35, 12 of 84 So this thing must go up and down, I'm assuming, to adjust your price. 
maybe the, depending on the height depends on how many quarters go in I really have no idea but I'm gonna like get all this gunk off of that I want to make this thing look new not bad it's just not good you know like all this stuff so we'll figure it out we're getting there though it's one of those projects where I just want to keep going, man. I just I want to keep doing this stuff. And it's got that beautiful industrial gray on the back here. I love that. Then the cabinet itself is, I guess that's a tan. I don't know. This is gray. Um, I did see. I don't know if it means anything. Hold on. All right, they passed. I don't know if it means anything. There's a dark blue in here all along the bottom. I don't know if that has anything to do with an original color. If that was just a seal, we're going to look into that. But I can see the inside is definitely a different color than the outside. This was most likely painted this color from the factory, though, unless it was this color. I don't know. i got to look into it and figure it out. But I want to put it back to the, the way it was when it came out of the production room, assembly line, whatever they do. I don't know. But we're going to redo this wiring, I think. I'm going to try replacing this condenser first. Maybe try replacing that only because I have another one of these laying around. Of course, I've got one of these laying around somewhere. But I think I got one of these laying around somewhere. Those are fairly common. If not, then we'll just go with changing the light. Here's the whole uh, lock mechanism going on here. It's so cool I was able to get a key for this thing. Look at that. I got to hold up my foot. <laughs> look at that. I said, look at that. There it goes. <laughs> got to put my knee on it. But yeah, that's how it works. It's so cool I was able to get a key for this thing. I was thinking of drilling it out, but I said in a previous video that uh, I really didn't want to drill it because I had talked to a few people. They said drilling it would just ruin it. Even if I put another lock in it, it's not going to be original. Uh, a gentleman in the, in the comments had told me, like I said, about a lock impressionist tool that if I couldn't get a key, that would open it without ruining it. But I wanted to get the key. The impressionist tool was going to be my next... Uh, I don't know, my next investment, my next try. Look at this thing. But I just really wanted to get a key for originality rather than, you know, getting a tool to open it. But glad we got it. Glad she's open. And now we're just going to put these four packs of cigarettes back in it. Just stick them in sideways. I don't want them in right because then I have to dig them out again. Stick them in like that. We're going to tape up the bottoms of the two that are open. And the two that are not open are just going to go in there the way they were. So you can see them from the top. I'll try to line up the uh, stickers on the front. And yeah, just really excited about this thing. All right, we got her closed. Yeah, it's, I don't know, I get scuffs on it. But yeah, that's it. Locked, unlocked, locked. That is beautiful. I'm so glad I found this. I'll put the gentleman's link if anyone's looking for any, uh, I guess, what, barrel keys? I don't know what, even, what they're called. I'll put the gentleman's link. He's got thousands of them. I went through the whole list of keys, matched up the key number I needed, and uh, got the key. So that's just that is so cool. I said that is there it goes. I said that is so cool. And there, and then it won't open. All right, cool. Anyways, she's locked up. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Again, hopefully I'm in the video. I don't know where it is. Top wise, hopefully I don't have to redo the outro. But now that we've got it open, now that we got the key, I'm just going to bend over just in case. Now that I've got the key, I can get this whole thing apart. I'm going to get this glass out. Well, I'll do all the, the, the facial stuff later. I'm going to try to get the inside out, clean the entire cabinet, get this thing looking nice on the inside, hopefully put the mechanism back in. I want to take the coin box off or the coin mechanism off while it's out. Hopefully I could just lube that thing up. I have no idea. I don't know anything about this stuff, but hopefully I can just lube that thing up, get it working again. But we're going to, you know, try to sand off any, uh, not condensation, any uh, stuff on it, any corrosion that's on it. And we'll get that all sanded up, cleaned up, oiled up, put back in. Like I said, we're going to use the scotch bright on the internal stuff so we don't damage the paint. We'll use the scotch bright on the outside as well, I think. I don't know. I, I got to look into this exactly what I get to do so I don't scratch the paint. Scotch bright might scratch this, so. We'll look into something. If anybody knows anything that I could do this with, that I can like really get into it, maybe I can use a like a buffing compound, maybe like a cutter compound that'll cut through the grease and grime, but not the paint. I really don't know, but I want to get this trim off too. It's, some of it's missing, some of it's messed up, but there is a lot of corrosion on it. So once I take the screws out of it, 
to get this off. We could polish this up as good as possible. Like I said, there's a spot down here where the hand was going in a lot for the popular cigarettes, I guess. That's kind of clean. The rest of it's dirty, so I'm hoping I can shine it up like that. I really don't know. And then this, I got to be really careful on. And we are going to get a light in here. Whether I can get this light rewired and working, or I put my own light fixture up behind this thing. And like I said, either just double-sided tape it so it, it stays there, or I just run through two, three, ah, two sheet metal. Like, why can't I talk? Two sheet metal screws through it just to keep it on the inside when I take the other light fixture out. Not really sure exactly what I'm going to do, but we're going to get this lit back up. I'm just excited. I can't wait to get this thing clean enough and polished enough and hopefully even working and put back in the house with those classic lifesavers. We'll put some classic whatever in it. I want to keep, like I said, a couple of packs of cigarettes in there that you could see the old ones. You can see them through here. This is going to be really cool. I'm going to polish up these. These stickers that are in here, I'll just show you. Well, I guess they're not stickers, but these cigarette things. Oh, there's the, uh, the A-Bear or Herbert. I call it A-Bear, but I think it's Herbert. Triton, Ventroy. I can't even see it. There you go. These don't look that bad. Once I get them cleaned up, that one's a little banged up, but the rest of them are... are Really in good shape. So we're going to try to keep those in there polished up. But either way, we're going to get it looking good. Hopefully working again. We've got to get this thing working. I shouldn't say hopefully. We're going to get this thing working and looking good at the same time. So it's just, I don't know. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching while I do my process. But most of all, thank you for hanging out with me. This is a lot of fun for me. I really enjoy this stuff. And, and I hope you all do as well, too. You know, this is just really cool interesting stuff for me you know how many times a week do you get to get an old cigarette vending machine and, and bring it back to life so i love this stuff thank you all get out there and discover your world you never you know ah why can't i say that i just say it every video now i can't say it get out there and discover your world you never know when you'll find some dude some schlub fixing up a cigarette machine i don't even know what to say now i'm so frustrated trying to talk <laughs> thanks for watching friends have a great day